Hello students, it's time for math class. I am Naima Afri, your math teacher. Welcome you all our math online class. How are you all? I hope all of you are safe and sound by the grace of Almighty Allah. Alhamdulillah, I am also fine. Students, you know that we are already at the end of our first term syllabus. Now, today I will show you the short question answer. Before going to start our today's class, I will ask you about our previous lesson. Can you tell me what was our previous lesson? Yes, our previous lesson was geometry. I hope that all of you have practiced geometry at home. So, can I ask a question now? Okay. So, can you tell me what is called line? Yes. Line is a moving point. It has only length but no end point. Very good. Your answer is correct. Now, can you tell me? What is called surface? Yes. The top layer and outside of something is called surface. Very good. I am very much happy that you can give me the correct answer. But students, you will draw the figure nicely whenever you will give the answer of this geometry. Okay, so every day keep on practicing drawing the figure of geometry. Okay, now I am starting our today's class. Students, today's our topic is short question answer and our CW number is 24. So everybody take out your CW copy in front of you. My dear students, short question answer is nothing new for you. You know that whenever we uh, started any chapter, then we always discuss the basic information of this chapter. So most of the time, short question answer comes from this basic information of this chapter. So let's start our class now. Students, you know that already we have provided you the short question answer sheet. And today I will discuss some short question answer from this sheet. So get ready for the class. Our first short question answer is, what is the reverse method of addition? So answer will be what? Yes, subtraction. What is the reverse method of addition? Answer is subtraction because we know that whenever we do the addition our number will become more number or increase but whenever we do the uh, subtraction then what happens our number will become less number decrease our number that time decrease that's why subtraction is called the reverse method of addition okay now, number two, short question answer. What is the place value of 5 in 9573? Students, you know that already we have finished the chapter number. Okay. So, from that chapter, we come to know that place value of the number. So, from which side we have to start the counting of uh, place or position of the number? Yes, always we have to start from the right side. Okay, so look there, 9573. So, here three position is what? Ones position. Seven position is what? Tens position. And what is the place value of five here? Yes, the place value of 5 is 5 
hundreds. So five hundreds, how can we write the five hundreds? Yes, five, zero, zero. This is our answer. So five place value is five hundreds. Okay, let's start number three. What does point have? Students, can you remember the definition of point? Yes. What? So, can you tell me what does point have? Yes, look at the picture. From this picture, we can see that point has only existence. It has no length, it has no breadth, it has no thickness. Okay. So, point has only what? It has only existence. So our answer will be existence. Have you understood? Okay. Now number 4 question. Which number shows position? So which number shows position? Students you know there are many types of there are many types of number like cardinal number ordinal number so among the number, which number shows the position? Yes, our answer is ordinal number. Because we use the ordinal number for ranking the number. Like I am giving an example. Sometimes you take part in different types of competition. And that time we have to use the ordinal number that who got the first position who get the second position so whenever we want to uh, ranking the number then we have to use the ordinal number so ordinal number shows us the position okay so num number five question Write the ordinal number of 20 in word. My dear students, sometimes you make mistake in the spelling of ordinal number. So, you have to be careful about the spelling of ordinal number. So, 20 ordinal number, what will be the spelling of 20 ordinal number? 20th. 20. The answer will be 20. Look, what is the spelling of 20? T W E N T I E T H. 20th. 20. Ordinal number is 20th. Okay. Now, number 6. Look at the board. I have written a formula here. Minuet minus subtrahend equal to what? Minuet minus subtrahend. Can you remember the formula? Minuet minus subtrahend then we got what? Yes our answer is difference. Minuet minus subtrahend we got the answer and answer of subtraction is called difference. Okay. Now students question number 7. Which number is minuet in 767 minus 534 equal to 233? So from this uh, uh, question, we have to find out the minuet number. So all of you know that what is called minuet number? Yes, we know that the number from which we subtract another number is called minuet number. Here, look, 767 is our minuet number because from this 767, we have to subtract 534. Then we got the difference 233. So, our answer will be what here? Here our answer is 767 is our minuet and 534 easily you can understand this is our subtrahend part 
and 233 is our difference part. So we got the answer here that 767 is our mean weight. Have you understood students? So go to the next number. Okay, now students, question number 8. Look at the board. The question is, which number are always divided by 2? So what will be the answer? Yes, the answer is even number. Students, I know that all of you know the even number. That what is called even number? When the last digit of the number is 2, 4, 6, 8, 0, then we call it even number. So, this even number we can always divide it by 2. So, our answer is even number. Okay. Now, the question number 9. Give an example of curved surface. Give an example of curved surface. So, students, can you remember the definition of curved surface? Yes. The surface which bends gradually, then we call it curved surface. Okay. So, what will be the example of curved surface? Already we have learned it before. Yes. Our answer is ball. Look, the, the picture of ball, this is not look like a flat surface. It has no length. Okay. It is almost round shape. So, that is called the example of curved surface. So, our answer will be ball. You can write the answer ball. Okay, have you understood? Okay, dear. Now, question number 10. Look, write 3048 in digit. Write 3048 in digit. So, how can we write 3048 in digit? They have given you writing words. Now, we will write it, we will express it as a number. So, what will be the answer? The answer will be 348. No, my dear students, look at the question properly. What is the question? 3048. So, how can I write it? Okay, at first I will write 3000. Then, what will you write? 48. No. Because they did not tell you here the 100 place. But we have to put 0 in the 100 place. Then it will be 3000. 3, 0, then 48. Okay. Sometimes you make mistake. You did not put 0. Okay, I found it, uh, this sometime that you cannot understand properly this type of question. You just write a 3, 4, 8 like this way. But they did not tell you you have the 100 place. But we have to put here 0 as a 100 place. Okay, so our answer will be 3, 0, 4, 8. Okay, now... Next question. The next question is What is the three digit getter number? What is the three digit getter number? Students, you know digit and number. What is the difference between digit and number? I told you before the digit will be from 0 to 9 that is called digit okay 0 to 9 means 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that is called digit but whenever it cross one uh, digit then it will be two digit together then it will be called number 
So, from 0 to 9, which digit is the greatest digit? Of course, the greatest digit is 9. From 0 to 9, the greatest digit will be 9. So, they are asking you, write 3 digit of greatest number. So, we know 1 digit greatest number is what? 9. Yes. So, they are asking you 3 digit. So, how can I write? I have to write 9, 9 and 9. So, this is the 3 digit of greater number. Okay, dear. Have you understood? Okay. Now, the number 12 question for you. Look at the board. I have written 48 minus. There is the fill in the box here. And then equal sign equal to 32. What will be there in the box? So students, what should we do here? There is a fill in the blank box. And we have to fill up this box. So how can I fill up this box? Okay, let me explain. 48 minus, fill in the blanks and 32. So look, there is a minus sign. So minus sign means what? This is the subtraction problem, okay? So can you remember the parts name of subtraction? Yes, there are three parts of subtraction. That is, minuet, subtrahend and difference. So, we already discussed you that if any part is missing, what will be the formula? We have discussed five formula to you before. So, from this formula, by using this formula, we can easily get the answer. Look students, 48 minus, fill in the blanks, equal to 32. So, here they have given you which part? 48 is our minuet part. And we don't know here which part? Yes, we don't know the subtrahend part. And they have given you the difference part that is 32. So which part we have to find out here? Yes, we have to find here the subtrahend part. So what is the rules to find out the subtrahend? What is the formula? Yes, the formula is Minuet minus difference, we got the subtrahend. So that's why in that case we have to show the rough work and by doing the rough work we can get the answer 48 minus 32 from which place we have to start? Right place, yes. So right place 8 minus 2, what will be there? 8 minus 2, 6 and then 4 minus 3, it will be what? Use your finger line. 4 minus 3, 1. So I got here the subtrahend 16. Okay. So this is our subtrahend. And I, at last I have to write the answer in the blank box. Isn't it? So we got the answer here 16. And you have to write answer 16. Okay, my dear. Now, students, I am showing you another question. That is question number 13. So, how many end points does a line have? How many end points does a line have? Can you remember the students, the picture of line? How can we draw the uh, figure of line? Yes. So, from the picture of uh, line we can easily understand that line has no end point. Look at the picture of line. Look I can uh, draw the line as my wish. There is no end point. There is an arrow sign in both sides. So in both direction I can increase line. I can draw the line. Okay. So the line has no end point. Okay, this is our 
answer that line has no end point. In both direction we can increase the line. Okay. Now next question. That is 14. The 14th number is what is called the answer of addition. I know it is very easy question for you. Yes, the answer of addition is called sum. So, our answer will be sum. Now, 15 question. The question is, how will we express 9948 in words? How can we express 9948 in words? That means, they have given you the number and we have to express it in words. So, how can I express? Look here, there is four digit. So, it will be, answer will be 9000. We have to write with spelling here. Okay. 9948. So, can you tell me the spelling of thousand? Do you know the spelling of thousand? Yes. Thousand spelling is T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D. -S thousand. So, it will be 9,948. Okay. Now, question number 15. The question number 15 is from which place does the operation of addition and subtraction begin? From which place the, does the operation of addition and subtraction begin? It is very easy. Most of the time we have discussed it in the class. Yes, from the ones place we always start the addition and subtraction. Isn't it serious? Yes. So our answer will be what? Once. Okay students. So students, no more today. Now it's your turn. Can I ask you some question? That whatever we have discussed today? Yes. Get ready for the question. This is our feedback section. Okay. I know you can give me the correct answer. So students, can you tell me that how many types of surface are there? Yes, there are two types of surface. That is flat surface and yes, curved surface. Very good. Now, tell me what is the place value of 2? In 4,270. Yes. Look at the number. So what is the position of 2? Here. Yes. The 2 position is here. 2 hundreds. Very good students. Now can you tell me. That what is called. The answer of subtraction. Yes, the answer of subtraction is called difference. Very good, my dear students. Okay, you have understood properly, I hope. So, now it's time for diary writing. So, everybody take out your diary. And what is the diary? Write down. Learn the given short question answer. Today, our diary writing is Learn the given short question answer. So students, no more today. See you next class. Till then Allah Hafiz and bye bye.